Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the Kings. All right, here he is, Sweden's best, the former two-time UFC light heavyweight title challenger, Alexander Gustafsson, certainly a guy who gave you a fight in Houston back in the day. That was the fight of the night at UFC 192, and I know taught you a lot about yourself as a fighter. Yes, I learned a lot of lessons in that fight against Gustafsson, but you look at Alexander, and people want to question whether or not he has the durability, the toughness to overcome insurmountable odds. Trust me, he does. He has fantastic footwork, underrated wrestling, in very, very good boxing. A very smart guy who trains out of the All-Stars Academy out in Sweden, has great coaching, and it shows every time he steps foot in the octagon. Yeah, he hinted at retirement a few years ago, but his head and his heart seem to be in the right place. Alexander Gustafsson looking to prove a point here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with big differences in height and reach. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 22 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Iron Michael Chapa. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 18 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Alexander Amalogostasson. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Oh man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Get that out of here. The season coming. You're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Gustafson gets caught with that punch. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus mix and his opponent. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Counters now with an overhand left. Who's hurt? 
serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. that will finish the fight. Oh! oh that was hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, nice jab. Wow. Oh! Two minutes remain in the round. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Alexander Gustafson. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Misses with that big right hand. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Him. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Landed that left hook. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? You ready? Do it. Need to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more. You cannot eat too many. You gotta get the elbows inside, because otherwise, he's gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. Just out of range with that right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. He's got a pop. Oh, it's over. It's over. Wow! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at one minute, 15 seconds of round number two. Joining the winner by knockout, Alexander the Mauler Gustafsson. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.